Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the dynamic play prompt, right? Now, what is a dynamic play prompt? A dynamic play prompt is usually the prompt, like if you want to play back something like a postcode or address or let's say password, right? Which is as per our call flow. Uh, so those are term as dynamic because those are not a static file or single recorded voice recorded file, which you can use. Uh, in the IVR sections, right, we have two mechanism, right? Either we can use text to speech, okay? Um, so let me go over here. Either we can use text to speech, right? Uh, like this one, or we can use the audio variables, right? So we have many others like phrase variable or audio constant or text variable, right? But if you want to use the standard, uh, uh, what do you say, the libraries, which is recorded or the already provided for each and every languages by the avaya like a b c d every alpha numeric characters right so you can use audio variable using the standard audio variables uh, what we are going to do over here is we already have a web service created right which generates a five character password every time uh, we make a call okay uh, in the last video if you have not seen that video, uh, I recommend uh, the link in the description, right? So uh, we are calling the web service from our OD project, right? And I have modified this one. Uh, two tweaks that I have made, I will explain, right? First is I have created a very temporary password or a variable, right? So you can do that by simply dropping drag and drop over here and change like uh, uh, results something like that result or web service result okay so similarly i have created temporary password over here now instead of the account unlock right i'm making a call of uh, password reset okay now in the password reset we get the password right so we got the password in the body then what i am doing is i am parsing that json okay and getting the password from there and just print it out over here for json we have used uh where it is yeah org json jar similarly again you go and download the jar and put in the lib folder and you add over here in your build path so if you see over here it is there and i have already added that jar over here in the org json okay so now uh, once we get the response right we have to store it so for that we use session variables which is nothing but uh, 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 this one whatever you defined over here those every objects can be found over here so right now we created web service result right so if i want to store into web service result you can see that web service result is here right so let's come back to the temporary password so we got the temporary password and we are stay sharing over here. Now, what will be the next step, right? So we got the uh, password in the variable. Now we want to play it back, right? So I will go to the prompt, test prompt, okay? So earlier we were playing this one. Uh, test is completed. Now what I will do is I will add a, oops. Remove this one and better place an audio variable. Now once you do that right so it will ask you which variable you want so i have stored into the temporary password what kind of a format i want i want it to be spelling character since it's a password right uh, and it has to be like uh, character wise and do you want neutral do you want raising do you want falling i will keep it neutral okay so once i save it right i got an error now what it's saying is uh, we don't have the localized bundle for the ENUS language, right? And we have to add it to using the standard phases, right? So what for that, what we will do, we'll go to the right click to the pro project and go to the properties and via, uh, we, oh, okay, sorry. So since i was in project explorer i was not able to see i have to go to avaya od navigator right so that type so after that once i click on yeah properties i can see orchestration designer right so over here we have general tabs right one is for the speech so you can right now since i am using 
uh, what is a speech recognition from Microsoft Pro. So that is their other speech recognizer also there. If it is installed in your system, you can leverage that one. Uh, we will go to the, our languages. This is our language, the default language when we created the project. Okay. Uh, what I will do since the localized bundle is not there, I will just click on install. It has changed to true. When I click on apply and close, right? So it will start installing all those things over there. Uh, yeah, it has been done added, right? I click, did I click apply? It is there, right? Apply and close. What's happening? Why? Oh, okay. I have to go over here and click on install. Sorry. And click on OK. Apply and close. Okay, now it's uh, downloading all the files. So by default, for EN US, you get uh, there is no restriction over there. But for other languages, like for Spanish or for other locales, right, you need. Uh, to have uh, that jar available with you okay now what I will do is everything is okay uh, just to check there was some error prompt was there right it's gone now what I will do is again right or uh, not right click sorry go to the applicant simulator and click on run and it will get to take time so test is completed x s j p f okay so that was one of the test call we will run it again since every time we can get a new password right so again running okay if you go over here okay so we got Test the password completed. as d e o o w yep that was good so so yeah that's how we play the dynamic prompts okay uh, if else conditions are there but those can say it's a dynamic prompt but uh, i will not recommend saying that it's a uh, uh, you can say a different prompt can be played right using if and else but for this right you have to write so many characters so that is not a right thing um so yeah that's uh from today's video if any comments uh, or query please put in the comment section and as always like and subscribe thank you